Welcome back to GM Time Saves. Today I'm going to teach you three things that will make your next run of GM Lake of Shadows more efficient and especially faster. During the first half of the strike, there really isn't much you can do to speed things up, but if you aren't keen on fighting the second wave of Taken that spawn right at the very start, it's useful to know that they will only spawn if all the Cabal from the dropship are dead. So if you want, you can have one player train a war beast off in a corner while the other two push the payload without interruption from the Taken. This isn't something I'd necessarily recommend, but I thought it was worth mentioning anyway. Really, the main reason for this video was to show the new boss room skip after the previous patch that removed it. For those who are unaware, it's actually possible to skip the inner dam section before the boss room entirely by simply jumping from the outer dam section right up to the boss room. This used to be very simple because you could just jump from the dam to the boss room, but now there's a kill barrier to prevent people from doing this. In classic Bungie fashion though, this fix was merely a band-aid since they forgot to make the kill barrier sufficiently wide. In order to skip to the boss room, you want to copy the following route. If only one of you decides to do this, in order to pull your teammates, be sure to stand up by the door to pull them forwards. By doing this, you completely skip having to kill the Tormentor and never trigger the spawn of the inside champions, which still gives you platinum. If for some reason you decide not to skip to the boss, another useful tip to note is that because the Tormentor isn't technically a boss, you can actually blind it with disorienting grenades and it will be completely unable to attack or spot you. Plus, once you get it low enough, you're able to finish it as well. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.